in Turkey this weekend. On Saturday, I spoke to President Hollande to express the condolences of the British people and our commitment to help in whatever way we can. Mr. Speaker, after our horror and our anger must come our resolve and our determination to rid our world of this evil. The people in our security services work incredibly hard. They are a credit to our nation, and we should pay tribute to them again in our House today. But now we must do more to help them in their vital work. So in next week's Strategic Defence and Security Review, we'll make a major additional investment in our world-class intelligence agencies. This will include over 1,900 additional security intelligence staff and more money to increase our network of counter-terrorism experts in the Middle East, in North Africa, South Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. At the G20 summit in Turkey this weekend, we agreed additional steps to better protect ourselves from the threat of foreign fighters by sharing intelligence and stopping them from travelling. We also agreed for the first time to work together to strengthen global aviation security. We need robust and consistent standards of aviation security in every airport in the world, and the UK would at least double its spending in this area. Third, to defeat this terrorist threat in the long run, we must also understand and address its root causes. We will improve integration, not least by inspecting and shutting down any educational institutions that are teaching intolerance, and will actively encourage reforming and moderate Muslim voices to speak up and challenge the extremists, as so many do. Kuwait and the United Nations.